Hello, welcome to the part 21 of this video series. In this playlist, we are looking at AWS Solution Architect Associate Real Certification Questions. Today, we will look at questions which are linked with these three topics. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. It takes a lot of effort to produce these videos. There is also a special thanks icon below this video. If you intend to donate anything or pass on your appreciation, please feel free to do that. No obligation though. For previous questions, please refer parts 1 through 20 of this playlist. I must remind you, there is also one more old playlist. The questions are still valid. Practice as much as possible. Let's look at this question. See, there is an application and there are three layers. This is layer one, layer two, and layer three. Layer one and two are on EC2 box. This whole box is EC2. Layer three is on RDS database. It's a AWS product. This middle layer is the only one who can talk with this layer okay and what are the type of request this middle layer is sending to the backend it is sending identical requests probably it is firing the similar queries again and again probably because different users are looking for similar information whenever you see this that uh, identical read requests are being submitted they will always get benefited through caching. Remember this thumb rule, put a cache above RDS. How does caching help? All the requests coming to the database will be first hitting this cache. That is point one. Then what happens is if it finds the data in the cache, then it will take that data from cache the request will not even go to this database okay but if it doesn't find the data in this cache suppose it could not find this then it will hit the database here and take that data so how is this helping us it is reducing the load on this database and in turn it will optimize the backend's performance now people will say hey i am getting the data much faster because the cache sends them the data much faster they do not understand if the data is coming from the database or the cache and they say that, hey you know what the performance is awesome and i'm having a nice day hence in this case elastic cache is the way forward see this documentation it clearly says it will reduce your latency to microseconds awesome and the other thing it does is it reduces costs and it eliminates operational overhead please note please note please note it comes with two versions redis and memcached redis and memcached are different caching products which aws has partnered with and inherited those capabilities the inherent capabilities of redis and memcached is now available in aws as well so aws did not did not create similar services it did a lot of partnership otherwise if they try to create each and every product themselves then the time to launch AWS would have been pretty huge, pretty long. Hence, this is my answer. But you might ask, what about other options? So let's scan through it. SNS, SNS, SNS. If you see emails, then use SNS. If you want emails, if you want alerts, then you use SNS. Does the question say so? no so outright reject this now c says use read replica 
when do you use read replica when you want to split your read and write operations in that case we create a database and a replica here all read requests we sent here all write requests we sent here and between this and this there is a replication happening why we do it if you have a reporting application and it is blocking your writes here then we do it there is no use case in this question which asks you to split the reads and the writes it is only about reads it is only about reads why because we are saying identical data sets so we will strike this out the last one says kinesis whenever you see the word kinesis think about real time integration in this question do we see any requirement of real time integration do we see any real time integration word used we do not see it that's why this is wrong as well this would be my final answer let's look at the next one so you can pause this and read this carefully see the story goes this way you already had a website okay and that website was on ec2 on ec2 instance and you were providing security through security groups you were limiting access to subset of ip ranges now the ask is that since it is a static website we are saying you move this to s3 why always remember if you see static websites no you should always put this on s3 you should not put it on ec2 otherwise you will not be saving money now the question also says after you are putting this on s3 you will have to plug cloud front for distribution now this static assets distribution and same filtering that was being done through security groups you want to apply similar filter or similar limitation here to limit the ip ranges this one this functionality you still have to achieve it which combination of actions will you do let's go bottom to top e it says you create an iam rule for distribution we do not use iam rules the reason is this user can be anyone they may be registered in i am repository or they might be something like you know amazon.com you can one fine day go there and shop only amazon employees may have i am user created and hence this looks wrong I mean, not a good way of doing it i mean you cannot i mean this is a stupid option you cannot limit ip ranges using i am let's look at c and d it's similar they are saying i will boss i will create a security group you know in with ec2 when you were hosting the website you were using security group i will use security group where i'll use security group for cloud front distribution that is this place and i will use security group for same ip restrictions at s3 that is here it should work right it will only work if your origin is elb or ec2 instance otherwise it will not work our origin is not these two that's why these two options are wrong since we want two answers so this and this would be our answer so the first one says what we will do is we will create a oai and we will associate with a distribution and only that oai can read the objects in s so it's like you create a oai here only this oai can access this so what advantage we get here boss what advantage do we get here the advantage we get here is this guy here cannot directly use this url and access it okay if it tries to do it it will say boss you are not oai i will only allow oai to see this data it's like if 
you try to see someone else's phone you need the credentials or the thumb impressions to get inside the phone otherwise you cannot do it same like you just only OAI can, OAI can read this so looks logical now let's see option B it says create a WAF so whatever limitation of IPs you have to do you do it through WAF which is perfect because WAF has an advantage that you do that and the moment you change it the change the IPs and you want to propagate it it will propagate the changes also everywhere that way WAF is awesome you can pause this video here and if you want to read how the OAI works you can read this so this will be the final answer let's look at the next one so this is a small question so I always like small questions in the exam because I try to answer that in 30 seconds so that I can spare time for bigger questions where I have to do a lot of reading and understanding see if I see such questions the simple thing I'll do is I'll I'll go very fast I'll see DynamoDB okay DynamoDB I know that DynamoDB has a lot of separate features now what is the problem statement it is doing extensive reading whenever I see read 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 I think of cash 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 read 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 cash 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 and the best part is it is saying is I do not want operational expenses I don't want to change the code I don't want to replicate the data nothing okay please increase the performance efficiency I will straight away use cache should I use elastic cache no elastic cache you will always work with databases like RDS and etc DynamoDB has its own caching mechanism called DAX and hence I will use DAX because read 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 cache 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 DynamoDB 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 has its own caching mechanism has its own caching mechanism remember this I'm repeating it again three times DynamoDB does not use elastic cache it has its own caching mechanism called DAX hence this is my answer but C why not C why not C it is saying to replicate the data replicate the data increasing your operational expenses operational overheads didn't you read the question it says I do not need extra operational expenses so this is wrong C is wrong D says use elastic cache elastic cache we only use with databases like RDS DynamoDB has its own caching hence elastic cache is wrong this is my final answer please hit the subscribe and the like button it takes a lot of effort to put in these contents you if you subscribe and like I get a message that you like this content I'll produce more content and if you are generous enough you can put in your comment via the thank you icon below this video any contributions will be appreciated no obligation though this brings us to the end of this part we covered questions linked with these three topics there are two playlists please refer this playlist is the latest one there is one old playlist those questions are still valid practice practice and practice only practice can help you clear the certifications focus on the thumb rules focus on the concepts and pass with flying colors